Hey Sugar Snaps, welcome to part three of my knitting hat project. If you haven't watched the first two videos in this series, check the description below. I have them linked there so that you can get the brim of your hat and the body of your hat knitted. And then today we're going to work on the crown, so the decreases that create the top of your hat. Let's dive in. Now we're to the point where we're going to start the decreases. So for the first row of decreasing, we're going to knit eight stitches and then knit two together. So just like you would normally knit, you're going to come in and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then knit two stitches together. And this is a decrease. And then knit another eight, and then knit two stitches together once again. knit two together. So that is what we're going to do all the way around. So complete that for one entire round around the hat. So each round we're going to knit fewer stitches before we knit two together. And what that does is starts to build the crown of the hat. So it pulls the stitches in and we'll end up with a tiny opening at the top that will thread the yarn through to cinch the hole closed. So continue to knit eight and then knit two together until you finish this round. We're going to knit seven and then knit two together. So you count one, two, three as you knit, four, five, six, seven. Knit two together so that your knit two together ends up right above your previous knit two together. <clears throat> knit seven. knit two together and continue doing this all the way around your hat. If you're knitting around and you end up with a stitch that you need to knit two together on your next needle, just slide that stitch over to your next needle and then do your knit together, knit two together. And you should be ending with a knit two together on your last needle. Our next round we're now going to knit six and then knit two together. So we're continuing to knit one stitch fewer each row around and then knit two together. Okay, row four, you're going to knit five, knit two together all the way around. As you knit, you'll be able to start to see the little diagonal stitches. These stitches represent the decrease so where you're knitting two stitches together. You can see some angling towards the left and some angling towards the right. And here's another point where some of these stitches are angling one direction and some are angling, so they're meeting each other. That's where the decrease is happening. And we're starting to build that in a spiral so that they're happening around the crown of this hat. And you can find more information on the rows in the description below, so be sure to check for those. Round number five is knit four, knit two together, knit four, knit two together, all the way around. <clears throat> Row number six, knit three, knit two together. And obviously, since we're doing a decrease, as you're decreasing, you're going to end up with less stitches on your knitting needles, which means that the space you're working in is getting tighter and tighter. Try to maintain your tension so that these stitches end up nice and close and tight as you're knitting. We're starting row number seven now, so you're going to knit two stitches and then knit two together. Next row is knit one, knit two together, knit one all the way around. And the final row is going to be knit two together, knit two together. So you're gonna knit two together and then do that same thing, knit two together all the way around. So every stitch is a knit two together. You can transfer stitches over to other needles if you need to as you go around. This is where we're at after those knit two together. You'll see I have seven stitches left and that's what you are aiming for. Now you can either do one more set of those knit two together to kind of make a little peak at the top 
and get less stitches. What I'm going to do is cut my yarn and create a little loop through all of these last stitches and then pull that tight. Now to finish off the top of this hat, I'm going to cut myself a 20 inch tail or thereabouts. It can be a little bit shorter. Thread a yarn needle or a blunt tip tapestry needle and I'm going to thread my needle from the last stitch. So the last stitch is right here. I'm going to send my needle through the next stitches. So I'm pulling the yarn through these stitches. So pull them off the needle onto your sewing needle and pull the yarn through the loops. Like so. And you can toss your needles back into their storage place when you're done. Take the, the stitches off the needle and then pull the yarn through. Like so, that's the last knitting needle. Now I'll pull this yarn through, like so, and you'll pull tight to close that loop, nice and tight to get rid of the tail. And then you can send this around, these little stitches right here in the center. I'm going to send this piece through those loops once again around the circle just to secure and make sure this loop is nice and tight. One more time around, like so. And then I'm going to send it to the inside of the hat, pull it inside the hat, and then come inside here. So the tail's coming out. This is the inside of the top of the hat. I'm going to catch some of these loops at an angle. I'll do three this direction. Pull through. And then I'm going to go back in the opposite direction, catching another three, kind of in a zigzag. Like so, and then pull that through. So now it's zigzagged into the fabric. I'll take my scissors and I'll cut that tail like so. And there's the end hidden in the fabric right here. Okay, and that is the top of the hat. You got a fun spiral pattern going on here and it's a nice top for this hat. Now we'd have one last tail to finish off before this hat is completely done. So untie your little bundle that you made way back a few weeks ago. I'm gonna cut some of that length off, thread my needle, and then flip the brim down. And again, we're going to send this along the edge. I'm gonna catch one of the stitches on the edges going in the opposite direction this guy was. We'll catch this guy as well. And then we're going to thread it up into the brim just by catching some of these stitches. And because this yarn happens to be a color that doesn't match, it's going to show a little bit. I'm going to thread it up a few. Luckily, we're folding the brim, and so this won't show on the outside. And then go the other direction like so. So I've gone up here and back down here. And now I'll cut this tail. And here is the finished hat. Looks a little, a little funky right now because this needs to be folded up. Once that's folded up, we have a nice completed hat. You can go ahead and block your hat if you want to, or wear it as is. Hats, because they end up getting stretched out on your head, may not need blocking. And here is my finished hat. You can see the brim here is folded up. I'll show you the top. I hope you enjoyed knitting your own hat and followed along with me the last few weeks. Happy New Year, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in future videos. Until next time, happy making. See you later.